Yo, what's up guys? I'm Alleging Tuna and I'm back. The first video of 2024 getting things started off here in Pokemon Go with a new event video. Let's hop right into it. We've got the grand event starting 2024 and it's featuring Jigglypuff, everybody's favorite Pokemon with a ribbon in it on its head now. Jigglypuff now with added ribbon. Start of the new year, we're going to keep an eye out for costume team Pokemon. Lots of party hats, lots of costumes this time around, you guys. Starts today, about an hour ago, 10 a.m. local time on Monday. Goes, goes for three days. It ends Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Okay, you guys? January 3rd, right here. Here's your times. The first at 10 a.m. goes till the third at 8 p.m. You have a Pokemon debut of Jigglypuff with a ribbon. That Jigglypuff will also evolve. And if you're lucky, you can find a shiny one. I'll be out looking for that Jigglypuff. You know it. Get those green eyes, right? Also during the event, special stuff happening. You're going to have fireworks going off all over in the sky. I don't know if that's going to be like all the time or if it's just at the top of the hour, but there will be fireworks going off. Maybe get some videos to show us in the live stream. Down below, Twitch TV forward slash Legend Tuna. We stream there quite often. Your event bonuses are focused around egg hatching. You have one half egg hatch distance when you put stuff into an incubator. And then also, if you use the egg hatching widget, you're going to get one quarter distance for the first three. The first three eggs that you use that you hatch with the egg hatching widget will have one quarter hatch distance. Um, that is available in the iOS and Android on iOS and Android in the respective stores, if you will. Your wild encounters out there, new event spawns, right? You have Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff with a ribbon, Hoot Hoot with a hat makes a return, Daramaka, normal Daramaka, but it can be shiny. If you still need that shiny, Daramaka looks pretty good. And then also, if you're lucky, you're going to get a Bronzor. Um, out of that stuff, catch them all, right? Get those shinies, you guys. Get those shinies. I don't really see anything really too relevant for PvP. Maybe Jigglypuff for Little Cup. If you're running a Little Cup team right now, Wigglytuff is a Charmer. Lots of fast move damage. Hoot Hoot. Since that nerf, we haven't seen a whole lot of uh, Noctowls. Maybe pick one up because it could come back, right? Daramaka catch it for your collection bronzor does have uses in little cups where it is legal so keep your eyes out for some catches check for some pvp ivs you guys your raids one star raids starters with party hats along with hoot hoot and wormple making a return out there you guys if you're still looking for that purple wormple with the party hat it's gonna be in one star raids along with bulbasaur charmander squirtle and hoot hoot which you can catch in the wild but if you're looking for a very very good iv one or a raid iv one make sure you hit it up in those raids Use those daily raid passes maybe get a xl rare candy one of those coveted xl rare candies your three star raids look like they're going to include older party hat pokemon making a return it which include Raticate, nidorino gengar if i didn't have a party hat gengar shiny already i would be all over those but I got lucky a few years ago. Gengar with a party hat. And then also Wobbuffet with a party hat. If you need... Yeah, get some of those if you need them for your collection. Your five-star raids. We have the return of some of the Ultra Beasts. Buzzwool, Zerkatree, and Feramosa. Now, the important thing about these is they are region locked. So, if you're in the Americas, you're going to be finding Buzzwools. Buzzwool does have some uses in PvP. So if you need a Buzzwool, maybe you need XL candies for Buzzwool, get into those raids. Zerka Tree is going to be in the Asia Pacific region. Now, Zerka Tree is the best electric attacker in the game right now. So if you need Zerka Trees, hopefully you can find some friends in the, a in the APAC region that can invite you to raids. We would get five. We get five remote raids a day. So if you're looking for Zerka Trees, get them. Feramosa is in Europe. That is a bug Pokemon. I think it's a really good bug pokemon but good good bug pokemon is kind of yeah they have very niche uses right so if you need the feramosa for your collection by all means hit up your friends in europe like i said i will be i will have buzzwool raids 
I can only host those. Then for Mega Raids, Ampharos is going to return. Mega Sheep Jesus coming back out to see, say hi. Mega Ampharos. We did just have a Flaffy throwback day, right? A Flaffy classic day. So if you had a good one of those, you got yourself a good Flaffy that you want to make evolve. Now you can get into raids so you can get the Mega Energy that you need to finish that up. Finish up that Mega Evolution. And the Ampharos can be shiny. You will get a normal Ampharos, not a Mega Ampharos when you complete those raids. Your eggs are going to include a whole lot of baby Pokemon. These are in seven kilometer eggs, friendship eggs. So if you guys need gifts, make sure you're sending and opening gifts, okay? Friendship eggs include Pichu with a party hat. Might be the only place where you can find that Pichu with a party hat. Cleffa, Iglybuff, Togepi, Tyrogue, Smoochum, Elekid, Magby, Azuril, and why not? Everything in those seven kilometer eggs can be shiny. It has a chance. It's probably a small chance, but if you're looking for them, Lots of babies in those eggs. Seven kilometer eggs, and it's an egg hatching event, so might as well. Field research encounters, we're going to lead you to some Jeremakas, maybe even some Bronzor field research tasks, if you're looking for those. New avatar items, you find yourself a Jeremaka hat. You guys know how I love my Pokemon hats in the game. So yeah, that looks pretty... That looks about up my alley for my avatar's uh, fashion sense right there. Just get a nice Daramaka on your head. Perfect. Get an event bundle for 99 Poke Coins. You get an incubator and a premium battle pass. I mean, that seems okay because normally it's 99 coins for a premium battle pass anyway. So we just get a free incubator with it. Seems good. That might be something to pick up. Paid time research. For a buck, you're going to get some stuff that's going to lead you to Jigglypuff, Hoot Hoot, and Wurmple could be worth it one dollar because it's going to cost you a raid pass anyways to get into a wormhole so you might as well get a couple extra bonuses with it too and also you get pokey coins from there i don't know how many pokey coins you get from that but it could make it worth if it's what 100 pokey coins or around 100 pokey coins right we will see maybe today on stream there's some, some people hanging out we'll do some giveaways give out some of these paid researches if people didn't pick them up that seems that seems a good way to bring in the new year. Let's see. And that's that's it. Also, this didn't mention anything about showcases. There are Jigglypuff showcases happening. They end at the end of the event. So keep your eyes out for XXL Jigglypuffs. Those showcases end at the end of the event, Wednesday at 8 p.m. So keep your eyes out for those Jigglypuffs and also... I've got some bonus footage here from one of my catches this morning. Check it out. We did it. I've been looking for a shiny hoot hoot for a long time, and I finally found one. It showed up in the yard a year later, right? We got it a year later, but we did get the shiny jiggly or the shiny hoot hoot. Really excited to have that one in my collection, but that's gonna do it for us today. If you found this video helpful, leave a like down below. We're still on that push to a thousand subscribers. And have a nice end of your day. We'll catch you next time. Peace.